Our IP cameras here at CCTV Camera World come loaded with features and are backed by expert technical support. Our cameras are easy to connect to. After connecting the camera to your router, all you need to do is scan a QR code to start viewing live footage. Our IP cameras that support SD cards can also be used as standalone recording solutions. With the same smartphone app, you can access recorded video or picture snapshots. This means you don't need to purchase a network video recorder if you only need to record a few days. Any of our IP cameras can be used as a standalone security camera. This allows them to be viewed from anywhere in the world where there is an internet connection. Keeping an eye on your home or business is extremely convenient with our cameras. Motion and smart detection rules can trigger push notifications and alerts straight to your iPhone or Android smartphone. Continue watching for a detailed demo of how easy it is to access one of our 4K IP cameras. Here we have our company iPhone pulled up with the app installed. We have already enabled the P2P method on our SD card camera and we are going to open the app up. And we've already added the camera to our application so we're going to go to the menu icon, go to playback. You can use either the top right hand side camera menu icon or the plus button to add the camera to the grid. So we're going to go down here and scroll to our SD card camera. Now keep in mind you can choose different recording types. We're going to leave it on all recording types. Select our camera, select IPC. And to break this larger we can double tap on that tile and then you can also use the timeline to scroll through the timeline. We're just dragging this timeline across. Here we can see somebody walking across in front of our office here. We can also pause the timeline. Now for snapshots, you're going to want to use the picture icon next to the video icon at the top. And then you can use the same plus button to bring in the camera. Here we have SD card camera, IPC again. And now this is automatically going to play back through the snapshots that we have. It looks like we set the snapshots to take at one second intervals. So it almost looks like we're capturing footage, but these are actually just photo snapshots taken from the camera. We can pause this as well. And that's how easy it is to access your camera that has an SD card after you've set it up. You've enabled the P2P connector method and you've added it to our application. All of those steps are outlined in our remote viewing cameras guide and you can request that from us if you would like to add the camera to your smartphone application. In this part of the video, we're going to show you how easy it is to quickly pull up your security camera with SD card using SmartPSS software on a Windows-based PC. It's also available on a Mac as well. So here we have the program open. We're going to go to Playback. As you can see here, we have the SD card cam. We're going to make sure we check that. You can see down here there is record and picture. Picture also stands for snapshots. We have several snapshots also recorded on here, but we're more so concerned about record at the moment. So we're gonna click here. Now there's all sorts of recording types, but we know we have a good a general recording and we can leave this on all record. And then you can choose mainstream or substream. And then we're gonna choose yesterday because I know I have some good footage for yesterday. You have to choose a 24 hour span here. It automatically sig selected the beginning of the 20th to the end of the 20th and we'll click search. You can zoom in using the mouse wheel. I know I have some good footage here around 4 o'clock so we're going to click here on our timeline and this brings up the playback. We can see the trees rustling and some cars moving in the background. We can click the stop button to stop playback. Then we're going to bring up the snapshot so we're going to come back over here to click picture and we make sure to go back and select our camera and click search for the same period of time. Now this will pull up the SD card photos and snapshots that are stored on the SD card. We can click next to move through these or you can use the autoplay feature here on the bottom right. And you, make, you can enable that and then it'll play and cycle through these snapshots every two seconds. Thank you for watching.